between Stand Up to Cancer and the Monaghan Center at New York Hospital, which is really uh, designed to give comprehensive treatment to patients who have gastrointestinal cancers and to do some research as well. One of the things we discovered when Jay was being treated is we'd have to go all kinds of different places uh, if he had a new symptom. He got a tumor behind his eye, so we had to go to an ophthalmologist. I don't even know how you would pronounce it, an ophthalmological oncologist um, to deal with that. He had to get radiation when he got brain meds. And, you know, we'd have to go someplace else to get nutrition counseling. And so what we did is we established the Monaghan Center so people could go there and really get help in so many different areas, genetic testing, nutrition, uh, you know, psychiatric social work. How do you talk to your children? So you could just really find a support center in one location. And now a lot of cancer centers are following suit. So that's been very gratifying for me, as well as starting Stand Up to Cancer. So we're just gonna keep on working, keep on supporting cancer research, keep on helping patients, um, you know, have better experiences with their cancer journey. We hope we're trying to do that at the Monaghan Center and have been for many years. So I think I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. And when there are opportunities for companies that really want to invest in helping patients on an emotional level, having nothing to do with treatment, but just having to do with support, I'm, I'm really thrilled to do whatever I can to ensure that people know these resources and support are available.